What's up, everybody? She bought a trail collector, man. Uh, here we go, man. Uh, I, before we get started, I just want to say uh, shout out to all the new subscribers, man. Shout out to everyone that took time out to stop by your boy's channel and to, uh, you know, check out the content. If you like what you see, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell so you guys know when I'm dropping content for you guys. Um, like I told you guys in the last video, man, um, I was slowly transitioning from uh, PVC. I'm not completely getting done with PVC, uh, but I'm going into to resins as well. Um, so I actually received my first actual resin uh, last Monday, which is the MRC 1-4 scale Future Warrior Trunk. So expect a review on him uh, soon. And then I finally got in my mixed media resin. Uh, this is a, me a mix between polystone and resin. This is uh, Obelisk, the uh, Tormentor from Yu-Gi-Oh! From the Egyptian God series. So, um, pretty awesome way to start. So, here we are, man. Here's the box that this bad boy came in. Uh, here it is, here on the side. With some pictures of the statue there. And then we have pictures on the back of the um, Gold Armored Dragon of Ra. Obelisk of Tormentor and Self of the Sky Dragon there. And then, of course, we have him here. And then, of course, here is the front of the box with Obelisk of Tormentor, Egyptian God uh, statue. And then right here, it has the Yu-Gi-Oh um, name and then the manufacturer. I don't know how to say the name, so please forgive me for that. Um, so, uh, Obelisk the Tormentor um, from Yu-Gi-Oh. He's actually my second favorite uh, monster from the Yu-Gi-Oh series, man. Um, I was never into the actual card game itself, but I was a big fan of the show as a kid. And um, Exodia, the Forbidden One, Obelisk, the um, Tormentor, uh, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician, and Silver Sky Dragon were like my top favorite monsters in that series, man. Um, so when I saw that they was releasing this, I kind of... Um, stepped back from it because it was a bit pricey and I didn't know how it was going to really turn out at first but um seeing it um and in, in displays at different stores around Houston man I knew it was one that I had to have so I went ahead and I ordered him man and he he made it in today so uh yeah let's get into it man so if you guys know um Obelisk the Tor Tor Tormentor is one of the three Egyptian gods man uh one of the big three um which is, of course, him, himself, armored, uh, gold, armored dragon, Ra, and a silver sky dragon. And you can possibly say Exodia is an Egyptian god. Um, I'm really not sure if he is or not, but I just know of those three. Um, so this figure here, man, was released about two months ago. Um, like I said, it is a series of figures. It comes, like I said, it comes with three in, in that series, which is the armored gold dragon, of Ra, and Silver the Sky Dragon and this bad boy Obelisk the Tormentor. Um this figure, man, um, like I said, it's it's a mixed media piece. It's a polystone and a resin. It's it's extremely heavy for, for the size. Um and as you you guys can see, this is a a beast. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Just looking at it, me looking at it here in the in the camera, um, yeah, this thing is is huge, man. And also the base it sits on takes up a lot of space as well. Um, so yeah, this thing, this thing's a monster, man. And I'm just be honest with you. One thing that I really like about this, I love the the detail that's on this figure, right? The reason I say that is because it looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh anime or cartoon, like how he, he did with all the different curves and angles. You know, he's just not like a flushed um figure he's just not like straight that uh, up and down he has a lot of curves and angles to him which that's what in my opinion would kind of made Yu-Gi-Oh stand out because of the character design that was done in that show um this character really exemplifies that it, it definitely shows that within this statue's design um now this is figure itself uh it does come does come in like four different pieces if you want to say if you want to say four it does the wings de detach on both sides so i can show you guys that right here uh, so you know this this wing is so you can see 
Uh, this thing is pretty, pretty, pretty hefty, man. Um, just being honest with you, and it sticks right in here, um, and it's, it's labeled left, left and right, so you really can, um, you know, get that uh, mixed up or anything. The head actually moves here. You can see it goes up and down there, and you can also pop his head off if you wanted to. It's held on by a magnet, so you know you really don't have to do too much forcing on there. But for me, I just to be safe, I kind of do. Um, and then of course you have the the left arm here that has a switch out. You can take it off here, and you can have him with a closed fist. I put that on there for you guys. You can keep him like that, but. You know, me being a little bit extra <laughs> the way that I am, I kind of like to add a little bit of effect to it. So I keep him with his uh, with his open left hand. I think that's that's pretty dope to display him like that, you know. So that's kind of how I have him displayed. And if you wanted to, you can turn it like this if you want to where it's an open palm. But that really doesn't look right in my opinion. So I kind of keep him like this here, like he's kind of on, on the attack, you know. So pretty dope piece. Um, really heavy piece, to be honest. Um, when I weighed this figure, man, this figure is right at 10 pounds. Um, so he's extremely heavy. Um, but being a mixed media piece, a polystone and a resin figure, um, yeah, he, it's about right. Um, like I said, man, this, this thing is really, really dope. I'm just, I'm just being honest. Um, this is definitely, uh, one of the biggest figures that I've had in my collection. I'm just being honest with you. It it trumps King Cluster. I'm, I'm just being real as far as weight-wise goes. Um, now, it's nowhere near my MRC Trunks resin. It's, it's nowhere near that because that's almost a 30-pound figure. But for it to be the height and the size that it is, this thing is extremely heavy, man. Um, so, with that being said, with it being heavy, that kind of goes hand in hand with quality right so quality you're gonna pay a little bit okay this figure um when i ordered it was right at i think 389 is what it was uh what it was um li listed for online through a uh, sideshow and um uh, sideshow had it and then you can go on ebay but I, I i got mine through a uh through a shop here here in houston uh, and, and uh traded you know a couple of figures out for it so i didn't have to come out of pocket for it um but yeah this thing was was re retailing right at like 400 almost out the door so you um you're gonna pay you know a pretty pity for it if this is something that you want um i was also told by the um by the individual that works there the obelisk the tormentor was the one that was the rarest out of the out of the three it was the rare side of the three so um don't know how how uh true that is but the gold armor dragon of raw and the silver of the sky dragon you can pretty much find them uh, in the wild if you decide to go to the right places so um with that being said you know um just keep that in mind so if you get him that's really awesome um you know just know that if you do find him be expected to pay a little bit for him you know uh, but I highly recommend this guy here, man. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, if you're an anime fan, man, this is definitely one of the pieces to go ahead and get. Just know that if you're looking for him, man, he's going to cost a little bit. Um, the cheap, the cheapest I've seen him online, they had him on eBay. He was pre-owned and they had him at like 239, you know, but brand new, he's like 400, 380, you know, around that price range. So, you know, if you're a Dragon Ball collector, that's last prize ter territory. And in some instances, that's resin ter ter territory as well. So, you know, this being a mixed media piece, it's pretty much priced as a resin, you know. And weight-wise, height-wise, display-wise, yeah, it's, it's, it's up there with them, you know. So, uh, definitely excited to have this bad boy, man. Um, I'm contemplating on getting the other two to complete the series set. Um... But I'm kind of leaning towards getting the uh, Majin Buu and the uh, Super Saiyan Trunks and the um, Majin Vegeta next week for the new Kuju that's coming out. So I'm kind of, 
I think those are going to take priority first before I get any more of the uh, Egyptian God series from Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's going to be it for this review, guys. Like I say, be on the lookout for the MRC Trunks review soon. Um, I have him here at home. I'm just really, really scared on how, how I'm going to take him out and display it for you guys, man. Uh, because, yeah, he's a monster, man, and I, I don't want to take chances of breaking him or anything, but expect that review soon. Um, like I said, be on the lookout for the uh, last prize, Majin Buu, okay. the new Majin Vegeta figure that's coming out, um, Super Saiyan Trunks, possibly, and whenever my BT Studios uh, <laughs> Majin Vegeta resin gets here, be on the lookout for that as well. So as always, guys, man, this is the Trill Collector signing off, man. Uh, and if you guys are on Instagram, man, go over there, man, and shoot shoot your boy a follow or message at Trill underscore five tr Trill underscore collector five one two. There you can see this figure and all of my figures in my collection from day to date, man. And we can definitely get it cracking over there as well. So as always, man, this is your boy the Trill Collector signing out, man. As always, keep it Trill and keep collecting. Until next time, bye.